Hello, 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 and welcome to Instruments of Destruction. This is a sandboxy like game, because it's got the word sandbox on it, where you blow stuff up. And I just noticed there's something called distract mode in the corner. Now I'm going to turn it on so you can see this. It's a trap. And I'm going to just go. And as you can see, there's a thing building up. There's a thing building up. There's a thing building up. And you just plonk it over an object and go. Bang! And you nuke that object and it gets removed. And then you do it again! And then again and 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 just watch the controls over. And this is just the main menu and it's making me very happy. This is by the guy who made the destruction engine for Red Faction Gorilla, I think. It's still in early release or early-ish release. That's really loud now. Because uh, <laughs> When you get into it, there are some that say it's coming soon. But anyway, I'm going to show you what the sandbox is like. But first, I'm going to let go of this switch. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to click on sandbox so we can get playing. And here is a previous creation of mine. I'm sure you can tell it's a little bit poop. Um, but I'm going to, you know, build on it anyway. See if I can get it to knock down this tower in one go. So I'm going to attach a new engine and place it uh, here, rotate it a bit, nah, nah, nah. and that gives us three, which is obviously better than two. I am now going to place a fourth engine, because we need that extra bit of kick, so when I do set this thing off, it goes through the building, because that's what I really want to do, I want to smash into it, knock it down by just taking out the feet. So let's go, grindy, 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 grindy and... <laughs> And smash did and even crack the wall. It's like he's peeking in, so like, hello, I'm in there. So the challenge as stated is I've got to take out the feet of all of it. All of it's gotta be taken out in one go. So I'm gonna attach one eh, not that one. Uh one, two, three, click, 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 three, four, five, five. Uh, that's a safe normal, which means I've got a middle. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to attach things to it to make it into like a spear with bits sticking out of it so those two antenna on the side get taken out. And I think I I'm feeling something needs to be attached to the front. You know, like a, a thing that'll just go smash into a thing. I've just hit myself in the arm in order to try and express that. I'm really hurt. Anyway, so let's... Where are the... Uh, here they are. Yes, 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 yes. yes. The... No? No. What am I looking for? Ooh, ooh, that, yes. I, I attach a bulldozer thing to it, so the bulldozer needs to go at the front, so I need to have... That's, yes, that, that goes with the plan I just had, so everything needs to be set up to the front. So, one... Uh, I'm sure there's a symmetry button knocking around. I'm sure there is. I'll dig it out in a minute. Let me just set this up. Uh, da, da, and da, and da. And now we get a... Oh. <laughs> Symmetry! There we go. Uh, da -da. A connector in the middle. Is that the right one? Yeah, that would face the right way. So now I get the plow. The plow, the plow. That one or that one? Mm, that one. That one's big. No, that one. That one's like a bludgeoner. <laughs> it's a bit. Overdrive? Why is it called the overdrive? Uh, let's go for the stand up. That's, that's the one we need. That's the one we're going to go for. Because that, that's just going to go foof and through, right? Foof and through. And what makes something go foof really, really powerfully? Jets! So what am I going to do? I'm going to attach lots of jets to this spear shovel, is pretty much what it's going to say. And I, I think, because if 9-11 taught us anything, it's anything with jet engines go through buildings like cheese. It just goes poof. And that's what I'm going for. I'm going for that big explosion. So I'm going to attach as many rockets as I dare. Um, uh, and I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, and then I'll whack their power up to max. So, one rocket, and spinny spin, and two rocket, and spinny spin, and three rocket, and spinny spin. There you go. And I think, to go underneath, like, the skis, it's because skis, least resistance, it'll just go, pfft. yes, this thing will be completely uncontrollable, but, eh, what can you do? All I want to do is take out the tower, so... That's what I'm gonna do. And one more in the center. Oh, ah, oh, yeah. Uh, whack the power up on all of them to maximum. Because you need that oomph to get through those final layers of concrete with a shovel attached to the front of a giant spear. So, let's have a go. E! Uh, 
that just went straight forward. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I mean, yes, I was right. This thing is completely uncontrollable. And I think it's a little bit too fast because the building didn't fully fall. But I think I'm onto something here. And I think what we need to do is A, make it a bit wider so it takes out those two towers on either side. But also, yeah, maybe a little bit more speed or maybe a bit less speed. I don't know. I've got a plan for me. Do you want to see what it is? Yeah, I'll show you what it is. So let's add to the edges. And oops. get rid of that. And add to add, add, add. Oh, gosh. Add. There we go. And one more for look. Is that wide enough? Is that wide enough? I, uh, I'm gonna attach a few more. Let's attach a few more. Get it wider. I mean, it's not gonna hurt. I, I'm gonna shove some skis and things on the end, so it should be okay. Is that, I don't. I'm not. Does that one look alright? Uh, I want something with a bit more oomph to it. You know, this one. It looks a lot like something you would smash something around the head with, and that's exactly what I'm going for. I'm smashing a building around the head feet with it so let's make this taller as well because 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 the tower was only sawn off at the feet now I'm going for the torso as well I'm trying to take out that midsection all in one go flatten the thing and be happy about it so let's make it taller I'll show you how I'm gonna do that with the tools in a second but what I'm gonna do first is you guessed it skis and jets skis and jets more skis more jets more accuracy straightforward kill the buildings Done. Only thing about it is, those aren't very strong engines. So you know what makes better engines? More engines! So let's just strap a bigger one to the top. Uh, flip it so it's actually the right way around. And... How do you work? The, where's the strength? It was a little thing. Where is it? Do I click on it? Have I clicked on it? No? No? Oh, it's, it's there. It's right in the corner of the screen, you idiot. There, there we go. So that's going to make them engines like bang, 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 and, and, and enable the side foof that I've been aiming for all this time. So what we're going to do next is... We're going to mess with that tower in the middle. This tower of blocks here. I'm not using guns. I'm not using lasers. I'm only going to use melee. So drill. Uh, massive drill at the top. Massive drill at the bottom. And what we're going to have on the edges. That's right. Chainsaws. So well, circular saws. Chainsaws. Same thing. Same difference. Nobody point out the fact they're colliding. That doesn't matter. And some of the edges for good luck. Now, I think... Uh, something like that. Just, you know, to make sure the extra scissoring and that's the, that's a ticket. A big wide one. Uh, rotate it. But you know what? You know what? I think this thing's missing. That's right. More saws, more chainsaws and one more drill. So, get the saw right. And, 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 and. Big drill. Big drill. Always safer with more big drills. So I think my uh, destruction engine is ready. I don't know if the destruction engine can take what I'm about to launch at it, but let's try it. So go, 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 drill! Look at all, all that particle. Yeah. <laughs> yes! You go, you bad bastard. So, that's how you destroy buildings in this game. Shall we try a different map? Let's try a different map. Here is the different map, and here is a different tool for doing different levels of destruction differently. I call this the office worker's vengeance number one. Um, it does this. <laughs> that's amazing. It just sounds like a really... Oh my god, that sound is so loud. It's really loud. It's like a billion angry wasps. It's like a billion angry bees. While some hornets have a gangbang in the corner. It's apocalypse. <laughs> that's, that's just a few lasers going through a few buildings. Making them regret the day the people who put them together were born. It's also giving the horizon a damn good kicking as well. I love it. I love it. I know somebody who's worked in an office that was really satisfying. And the Gatling gun job. Anyway, I'm thinking we can go find a different tool to do things differently, but with a bit more destruction in the meantime. Let's go do that now. So my plan is to build a Borg cube. <laughs> Simple as. And while I construct this machine of ultimate destruction. I want to just celebrate that noise. That vump dink. It really get, it really lets you know that what you are attaching is solid and has a purpose and it's very macho and manly and solid. And that's what you want to go for in games like this. I just want to congratulate whoever came up with that noise for making it sound like that because that's fucking awesome.
And here's the result. It's not a cube. It's brown and it's got little drones. It's nothing like what I set off to do. The controls are also more complex than decoding a triple helix while drunk. So let's send the drones off and find the button that makes this beast go up. I think I found the button that makes it do that. I, I, it's not going forwards, however. The balloons are coming out of the top and now it was backwards. I, I'm going to call this semi uncontrolled Something exploded inside. And now I'm doing a re-entry. So I'm going to call this a bad job. And I'm going to skip to the single player islands. So bear with me while I do that. And now it's fucked off into space. And here's the first island. It's called P Pisces, I think. It's got some challenges. This is the first mission. This is the first level. This is easy. So let's get started. The objective is destroy two mines. And the building requirement is powered large wheels plus two. Fine. Okay, let's go. Right, so here is the cabin we are going to be playing with. It's, uh, I think it's the same one that we've had in the free play mode. I think there's variants of it, but I don't know. Uh, they've restricted the things we can use. Ah, crap. Um, that kind of kills the plan that I had, because I was just thinking lasers all the way through it. You know, just an easy win, make a big turret, done. But, maybe not. So, I need to attach wheels, and I need to attach a chassis. So, I'm going to make a framework that acts, like I said, a chassis. Uh, balance it out so it doesn't just go forward on its face or fall over uncontrollably and uh, do I just want two wheels or do I want four do I want to do I want to be that guy uh, I think let's just attach wheels to the back as well because I need steering I, I'm gonna I, I get the feeling I'm gonna need some steering and now for the said two plus powered wheels so uh, one, wh one wheel and the other wheel and oh steering steering uh what i if i have steering at the back that's going to be virtually uncontrollable isn't it um so i'm going to stick the power at the back a, a bit like a porsche you know or um, something like that. a bit like a proper sports car stick steering at the front so i've got a bit more like control over my direction like that like that like that um make sure everything's in the same directions those hours are really useful and now for weapons. What am I thinking for weapons? Now after a long time thinking and a long time being away, I came up with an easy option. A flail! It's just a spinning spinner of death. Like a helicopter that, you know, kills you and is made of cables. So maybe not like a helicopter. A flail! And on those flails will be sores. Because of course there will be sores. Because I, I, I think I've demonstrated enough. I have... A need for things to be sawn in half. Maybe in a past life I was a terrible magician. I do not know. Now let's just set everything up so it's the most powerful it can be and I don't have to worry about it after I've turned it on. Uh, that looks right, looks right. I, I think I can memorize left and right. And let's just give it a go. So I need to turn that on. And they instantly get tangled and send me. <laughs> I, I can't steer this. This... this uh, this, <laughs> this hasn't worked. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Okay, so the saws were too heavy. Let's let's get rid of the saws. I don't. I think I was on the right track with the flail idea though, because that that span and that was like death incarnate. Um, yeah, what can I do? So let me let me let me let me let me let's make it a bit more sturdy instead. So let's get that there, because they got tangled on the wheels straight away. So if I make it wide. And then add um, the saws to that. Like maybe, maybe, maybe this is this is a better idea. This is more. This is cl getting close to that death helicopter idea that I had. So I'll drop that down. And that is still making the vehicle freak out a little bit. Um, let's just give it a try. There's two arrows there. Is that what I need to blow? Is that what I need to detonate? And that's instantly sent me in the wrong direction. Well, whatever happened there worked. Um, I, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that, the, t the two mines that were in there are now destroyed, um, and I unlocked something, so that's good news, let's go to the next mission, let's do the next one, which is Taurus, yeah, these are the signs of the Zodiac, so, normal, reach the marker, use parts, uh, oh, I, I could do that, I could definitely do that. Right, so looking at it, I don't think this design will work with the course. We've got to go because we've got to go through things. This is a little bit 
bit too high for that. But I, I think the circular saws idea is great. I think the circular saws is what we need. I just need to put them, you know, somewhere else. So I've got power, I've got steering. I need a ram at the front. So if I go like uh, this, I, I, you'll see what I've got in mind. I'm going to have the blades like at the front like teeth or spinning teeth, whatever the alternate to it's just gonna go through, all right. So let's just bear with me. Bear, with me, bear with me, all right. And as I make the finishing touches to this design, you can see what I've done. I've made it so it can go forwards. It's weighted at the back, so it's not gonna catapult itself, and it can go through the barriers. I've kept it under control, and let's just make the blade spin. And I think that's working. That's going through. It's going through. It's going through. I, the, 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 every time the teeth catch, uh, the back wheels come up and make it virtually uncontrollable. But I'm going to look over. Like, it's crabbing. Um, I'm, uh, I, strangely, I'm crabbing. Is the front still too Is the front too heavy? Is that what it is? Because I'm looking now and those back wheels don't seem to be making that much contact. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm moving. I am happy. <laughs> Let's just stop turning. Turn! There we go. All right, now. Oh, damn it. Yeah, every time the tooth catches, cat pulls back into the air. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through, even with the levels of persistence that I have. Uh, I think more destruction is needed and more power. So, no, more power, more destruction, winner. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board, shall we? So, what I have done is I'm upping the power of the source so they go through things quicker, and I'm going to make the wheels at the back more powerful so it goes forward quicker. So, just in case it does jump up and down, when it catches, it'll just go boom and send the thing off in the direction it needs to go, hopefully. And I'm going to attach some weight to the back and try again! <laughs> Still catapult forward. That's not a promising start. No, I am liking the size of the crater, at least. Oh, that's a lot quicker. Yes! Yeah, I went straight through that. I don't think I had the saws on. I'm stuck. Um, can I go backwards? Ah, there we go. <laughs> Almost all. I'm still crabbing. I was almost panicking there, but as you saw, I kept calm. I kept coll collected, and now I'm at the part that defeated the last mode. Can I? Can I? Can I line it up? Forwards! Go on, go on, go on. Something exploded. What exploded? I'm okay. It's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't go in the water. You dare go in the water. I can't stop it rolling forwards. Turn, turn, turn. Just go through the wall. All I have to do is get to the marker. All I have to do is get to the... And completed! And that's the second island done. I'm very happy with that. I uh, got a new vehicle as well. Vehicle Mass. Oh, that's, I thought that was the name of it. Oops. Let's go to... Should we go to the next island? Let's go to the next island. Island Dr Draco? Dr Draco Malfoy. Let's go and... Let's go and destroy the tower using suspension on the island of Draco. Sounds fun. Let's go. Now, I'm not entirely convinced that this design will take out that tower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything. So there. Nah. And... Delete, 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 delete. Gone, 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 gone. And I'm back at the cabin. What I'm going to do is... Very much like the first design that I had, which is I'm going to build a massive crane that spins with some flails and some bars that will just take out the feet. And the tower will fall down. Uh, which means I'm going to have to have it heavy. And somehow, 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 I'm going to be have to be able to uh, use the said suspension. I don't know how I'm going to make that work without making the thing incredibly unstable, but we will see. Believe me on this one, okay? I feel, I feel positive. I feel like it'll work. Most people just go all the way around the island, and I think that's what you're meant to do. But I have a plan, and if it works, it'll be fantastic. I just need to know what parts to use. So there might be a little bit of trial and error in this one. Let's just see how things pan out, shall we? So as I add the finishing touches onto... I've got to call it attempt number one. I know two things. It's probably not got enough weight on the bottom, and those arms already don't look long enough. Also, I'm telling it to go forwards, and it really doesn't want to. So, yeah, this is the prototype. This is just the beginning. I just want to know if the idea works. I know it's going to take out something, and I just want to see how well it takes it out. I just... It's stuck. 
<laughs> Why is everything I build and getting wedged? Maybe it's because I built what is essentially a metal wicker man and it's just decided it doesn't want to go forwards. Come on. Forwards. Forwards. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. And... Ah, I need to get closer. I need to get closer. I feel the Benny Hill theme tune kicking in here. As me just going backwards and forwards a lot. As he fails to get into position, which is really starting to get on my nerves. Maybe I'll attach a drill that can take those things out. Or, 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 maybe I can just concede defeat at this bit. Um, mainly because, A, I can't drive it. And B, it needs a bit more power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the wheels, up the power. Um... I think the angle that I've built it at isn't really helping very much. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make all the wheels spin the same way because I just realised that one isn't. And then I'm going to up the power. More power, correct direction, and that should fix the controllability. And then we can work on the weight and then we can work on the arms. So let's see how that goes. Oh, that feels a lot smoother. I'm, I, yes, it still lags a little bit, but it feels a little bit more forwards and controllable. So let's wedge it in and press go <laughs> no 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 oh no 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 it's facing the cabin's forward oh that's making me feel sick no no oh no 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 oh. <laughs> oh no it's just trying to take off and i've drowned i think something something didn't quite work there did anybody notice that does anybody have a clue what it might have been what did we learn from that what can only be described as a Pariah success or a, a catastrophic victory, whichever one you want, is A, the arms are not long enough at all. They need to be a good bit longer and a different weapon is needed. And I'm thinking a saw because I've been obsessed with these little bastards since the beginning of this episode and that's not going to change now. The other thing was weight. Uh, we need more weight because it got thrown around the moment it made an impact and if punching anything has taught me anything is you need to plant your feet you need to have that good oomph, a good anchor and without that good anchor you get no power so here is my weight this is my engineering version of planting your feet so to speak and that should it should 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 improve this considerably yes it's going to make it a little bit more awkward to steer and power because it was hard to steer before. It's going to be doubly so now. I've doubled the weight. And I'm just going to park it in this corner. Like, wedge it up against that pillar. And <laughs> let's see what happens. I mean, look at that tree. It's like, no, 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 no. Don't hit me. 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 I'm going to hit you. And, oh, that. Oh, it's taking the, oh, it's taking the thing I was wedged up against straight out. So I'm just going to move around like a, ah, no, no, like a bonkers angel of the north. But it took out that like power cable tower which is a promising thing it's just i, I can't get close enough to do it and now it's like say it's just flailing it's just taking off again and <laughs> and i've drowned again i've seen a pattern emerging here to prove i learned something from that experience before i'm going to show you what i've got i'm going to add more weapons i'm going to add more range and i'm going to add more destructive capability that tree has already fallen over in fear of what i've built because i'm gonna make well my first idea that i that for this entire thing was helicopter and i think i think i think if i can get the right weapon combination i can build a, a crane helicopter. <laughs> the only way i can describe what's in my head i'm gonna attach these cables and put some balls with spikes on the end because that's what you need. And then I'm going to double it up for quadruple the, the spike balls damage. And I don't know what these options mean. It's just when you stick something up to max, that usually means the best things possible, right? So yeah, uh, two more of these flails, two more of those spike balls, massive amounts of damage, and it'll take out the towers. No issue. I can't see any flaws with this, can you? Let's just hop this mechanical marvel into this corner. Hop, 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 hop. Wedge right up to that bridge. Hop, 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 hop. I don't think that's what it's meant to do, but that's what it's doing. Turn on the saw blades. And let's start spinning. Yes! That took those little pylons right out, which is looking positive. I'm stuck on something. Come on. It, it, yes, it hit the tower. It hit the tower again. Reach it. You bastard. 
Ah, oh, I'm too far away. I'm <laughs> right, so I need to extend the reach by a couple. So if I, uh, I'm just gonna add two. I've moved the whole thing. Let's get rid of that. Move that out a couple. One, two, and I'm. <sighs> Where's that? Ah, uh, let's make it a bit different. Let's do that. Cause I like more like a razor blade. I don't know. I don't know what I'm on about. I just want to make this circular sword crane death thing take out a tower. So, I think that extra range will do it, you know. I really do. So, I'm just going to get stuck on what I can only describe as foliage and invisible speed bumps. Slight inclines and flat surfaces really do confuse this vehicle. So, wedge up that way. Hop. 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 Ah, sod it. Let's, let's try and do it from here. Because I think, I'm, I'm feeling confident. I'm wedged, I'm catapulting, I'm all over the shirt. This is not, this is not going quite as smooth as the first one did. Come on. Why am I going backwards? Oh no, I'm falling in the water again. And I drown. I'm, try again. Forwards. And I'm stuck. Yep, I'm stuck on a slope. I think, I think, I, I, I slight inclines. It's the defeat of everything, really. Look at that back wheel going mental. And I can't reach anything from here. Maybe, maybe it'll free me up, though. It's, I don't know which way is forwards anymore. I'm going sideways this time. Oh, 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 pull myself back in, pull myself back in, pull myself back in. Maybe, no. And let's try one more time. This time, this, this time, guys, this time. So, forwards, get stuck, piss. Something to do with the power and the size of the wheels at the front and the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the bigger wheel, add some power to it, and then boom, and then we shall be fine. So hang on with me, I'm just gonna make some tweaks. So, tweaks made, I'm gonna give it a try. Now, as you can see, I attached some massive wheels to the front in order to just power it down a little bit. And now I think I can do this. It's going backwards. That's not right. Get into position. I, I think this is the best I'm gonna get. So let's start the blade spinning and start the destruction. Come on. Break through. Come on, come on, come on. I'm falling over. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. That spin is good. That's taking out the tower backwards. Come on. Oh, the bridge is taking more of a pummeling than... That tower is. Oh, but it's making contact. It's every time I gotta just keep this crane wedged. The bridge has now broken before the tower has. I do hope there's no minus points for doing this. Come on. It's nearly gone. It's nearly gone. That scoop on the end of one of those is really doing the job, is it? Come on. Yes! Destroy the tower. Completed. And I'm gonna say first try. So, I mean, the idea was first try, so I'm going to say I win. <laughs> such, a, such a stupid game, it's marvellous. So, yeah, that was Instruments of Destruction. And as a finale, I thought I would create a lovely little bonkers mech thing to take out some bridges. I'm heavily, wholeheartedly, and whatever else begins with H that means the word recommend, this game to people. Yes, it's not finished, yes, it's not completed, but it's fantastic. And if you're into sort of like Besiege and all that sort of generated stuff, I think this is the best game for you yet, especially with the destruction engine, which is fantastic. And the weapon selection and just the building options and the variety. I do want a game that will allow me to scale objects to my own liking, but apart from that, I'm very, 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 very happy with this game. I cannot get this make to work properly, but I don't care. So yes, that's Instruments of Destruction. Buy it, get it now. Put down what you're doing. Get it, get it, get it. And I, yeah, I'm probably gonna do another video on this at some point. And uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, I've been me, this has been this game, and I'm gonna say, Tura. come on. I really wanna finish by taking out bridge. It's just not happening, is it? It's, it's, it nearly worked. It so nearly worked. Anyway, I've been me. This has been the game. And to raw.